the whole nature nurture argument. Since you went there, <laughs> the content that we create, especially for Africa, needs to have an African nuance to it. We learn from other people's mistakes. We are the other people. <laughs>
<laughs> no, okay, but anyway, the crux of the story is that we're all using our uh, voice. What What is the difference? The difference is maybe the level of education that's been invested if mm. you are doing voiceover mm. in the que- the king's language mm. versus a situation where the guy's got a gift, but maybe he hasn't had the 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 opportunity Correct. to, to Correct. get where you are academically. But at the end of the day, what we're doing is more or less the, the we're, we're communicating. Correct. In, in essence. Correct. Yeah. The end, the end game for, for both of us uh, at either end of that spectrum is we need a result. The person hiring us to do a voiceover wants to elicit an action from our voiceover and our delivery. So we're, we're doing the same thing. We're enticing people. We're attracting people to act upon what we're saying to them. So a person walking through a bus stop needs to hear this call boy yelling out which bus he's supposed to board and he'll tell him this one's almost full get onto this one don't bother with that one that'll take a while mm-hmm. and ultimately the end game is we're both getting paid to get people to do something yeah so that, that's that's just the bottom line yeah. um yeah. and i think truth be told there is an opportunity even for brothers like that it's just that the market hasn't grown yet. Uh, we we don't have enough diversity going on, mm-hmm. but I'm pretty sure guys with vocals that strong have a place where they can fit in in the spectrum where they can earn uh, decent amounts. I'm just dovetailing off that before you come in, Destro, in that mm-hmm. there's a new ad that's just been released uh, it's an MTN ad, mm. which has mm-hmm. the scenarios. I've seen, you see, they've got a beautiful aerial shot of a bus, yeah. and uh, there's yeah. a voice of of a conductor in yeah. there and stuff. Yeah. And uh, you know, I, I wasn't involved in the production. It's a great production, and I kind of wish, like, if there was an opportunity to empower to, an an authentic, an actual, an an actual, actual conductor, conductor, that yeah. would have been a dope mm. opportunity yeah. to yeah. to empower you know yeah. somebody like that, as opposed to using a seasoned voice actor. You know, <laughs> which I'm not sure was the case, but you know, who knows? You want to jump in with a question? Yeah. What's what's very interesting is that I wrote that script. Oh. <laughs> surprise, and, surprise! And I, and I did the voiceover. Aha! Oh, uh, uh-huh. So this question should be directed at Destro, not me. I mean, I, I know nothing. Yeah. He clearly no, but, understands. But there was when, when when I said what I said, I had no idea that I was sitting uh-huh. next to the person who did both those tasks. <laughs> explains That's my disclaimer. Ex- explains <laughs> the vibe. <laughs> That's why you're flying all along. Yeah, he was very sheepish. I was like, "What's going on here? It's not like him." Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we, we did kind of like have an idea during the conception of the idea to give conductors like a megaphone, you mm. know, either conductors mm. or cowboys. Mm. But of course, it was going to be branded and everything just to really highlight what what we're trying to do, which is saluting um, the everyday, the everyday yeah. hero yeah. instead of using yeah. the term hustler. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I guess the, the question that I wanted to ask hightailing off of what you had said is what's been the biggest challenge in your journey mm. um up to date yeah what's been the biggest challenge in in your journey i would have to say it's getting the the respect due to the craft that we have found ourselves in for the longest time it was ah, you're just speaking what's what's the big deal mm. Uh, uh, anyway, it's just recording a voiceover. Uh, yeah, uh, anybody can do this. Anyone who speaks English can do it. Oh, do it then. <laughs> do it. Um, and I think I must say it, it's an, an interesting scenario that arose mm. when COVID 19 hit mm. because suddenly people realized they weren't going to be able to use conventional and traditional media yeah. to get to their audiences. Mm. The audiences still existed, mm. they just weren't allowed to move. So suddenly there was a need to invest in a lot more voiceover work Mm. to get their message out using socials. And I think that for us as an industry was a turning point. Mm. It was a watershed moment when things transformed Mm. and suddenly there was a realization that we actually need these guys. And I think if we're being realistic, that was the first time rates became decent enough to say, yeah, okay we're, we're getting paid <laughs> we're actually getting paid yeah. so yeah the volume the volume game kicked in as well where even if the rate didn't grow exponentially mm-hmm. just the sheer numbers of, work, yeah. of scripts that were coming through transformed the game mm-hmm. and you're like okay this actually makes sense mm-hmm. now the return on investment started to come through because you'd invested in a high-end microphone and yeah. 
and interface and software and your licensing on a, a, an annual basis or a monthly basis, depending on which subscription you've gone for. And suddenly, you're like, it's actually paying for itself and I've got something left over. So that was a game changer. There's something that we had a conversation uh, some months ago and just to do with specifically with growth because I heard an ad that you did, yeah. which was on, I think, Super Sport, I mm. can't recall. Mm. And it was just sounding so so dope. And I remember reaching out and saying, man, yeah. this, this, you, you just sound very comfortable. It's just like, was it a Go TV ad? I can't remember. Uh, uh, I, I still be. recall because you, you took a little video and said, hey, yes, you're yes. sounding good on this. This is alive. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. I was like, wow. So it, it made me go back and listen in. Yeah, yeah. And and then you asked, what's changed? Exactly. So that's that's what I'm asking you again. What, yeah. what's, because even with me, and, and I'm sure Destro, the same thing is you you can listen to your old stuff and realize that what you're doing now yeah. is at a at a higher level. You're yeah. producing something uh, richer, something yeah. which connects yeah. more and so on. Yeah. But it's very difficult to pinpoint like, when did this happen? And that's that's yeah. what I'm interested in. Is there something a light bulb moment now when you when you look back and you listen to that stuff and you listen to what you're doing now? Like, what what's changed to to bring yeah. that through? I hear you. If it's a long answer, but let me try and slice and dice it. What's changed is I think we're no longer trying to prove ourselves. Mm. So the pressure that we were under previously was I need to show them that I'm good at what I do. Yeah. so that they, they know I'm worth the money that they're going to pay me mm -hmm. and also so that they appreciate the tr the craft and the trade. And then we've shifted into a space where we're like, you know what? You know I'm good at what I do. Mm -hmm. You know that I'm going to deliver and now I'm comfortable in my own skin. And if if there's one word that sums it up, it's comfort. I'm comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you're you not trying to sound like anybody else. You're not trying to impress anybody. You're just doing you. Mm -hmm. And when you get into that state, it's like you're fully present, you're fully yeah. conscious of what you're doing. And you're, <laughs> some call it the flow state. You're actually enjoying it. You, you're like, you realize I'm alive mm -hmm. and I can do this and I'm happy. And it's yielded a lot of single take uh, recordings mm -hmm. where you record and you ask, would you like another take? And the client says, no, 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 no don't waste our time. Uh, just go and mix that and send it. <laughs> We've got no time to waste with second takes and third takes. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Wow. Like, are you sure? Just as a reference, we are fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away, give us space. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's, it's really just arriving at a place where you say, yeah, I'm, I'm me. Yeah. Hello world. <laughs> I want your clients, the ones that say no second take. All my clients, we're still on just, take, just for safety. Take. Uh, could we just have that's, uh, that's, that's, just one that's for my safety? Reality. Do you want to ask another one before I shoot? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, I guess, I guess from there, I think the next question I have is, um, what do you think of AI? Because I've I've been seeing a lot of like Facebook ads and Instagram ads, even YouTube videos where mm. the voiceover mm. narrator is mm. AI. You know, what, what, what do you think that means for us as voiceover artists? Nuance. Mm. Nuance. Uh, AI has its limitations. Mm. I dare AI to go off and read a script which has the word change in Bimungongo in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. see your servers run that. Um, the one advantage we still have is the content that we create, especially for Africa. Yeah needs to have an African nuance to it. Mm -hmm. There's no way I'm going to accept a pronunciation that is off yeah. when I'm trying to say Chibuluma and yeah, say yeah. Chibiluma. <laughs> uh, like, no, I, all you need to do to understand the limitations of AI is run GPS mm. and listen to the way it butchers local names on streets. Yeah. Uh, and you'll be like, what? <laughs> You're like, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> so for now, I think we're in the clear. Okay. But the unfortunate thing is the whole value versus price mm -hmm. argument mm -hmm. kicks in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there will always be that client who will value pricing issues over value. Yeah. 
Yeah. And they'll be like, it's cheaper. We already have this AI engine, so may as well just run the script through that. Mm -hmm. And it's okay if it sounds robotic. We don't care, we'll get the message across. Uh, but gratefully, there are people who realize uh, quality still stands yeah. and you require a human element to be believable. Mm -hmm. And while that stands, uh, touch wood, <laughs> we're still safe. <laughs> we don't need to new, a new trade just yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you guys a story. And, and by the way, my, my view in terms of AI um, is that I think we can win in in some instances, and I'll share examples. But the thing is, I've, I've just shared those examples on another podcast. <laughs> so I don't to, but but I'll tell you guys that story. But what I wanted to share with you is that there's a sound engineer um, in South Africa. I think it's, it's Mickey. Um, I can't. I'm trying to remember which studio. And so he had been briefed to do a campaign. Uh, it was for mm. some awards thing, which was meant to demonstrate what you've just said that AI is very far from humans right so it was meant to uh give ai a script that it reads and it was meant to be like you know that compared to a real person right. is going to be right um you know very far apart now he i don't know if he was exaggerating but he says so they put in the word closer uh -huh. you know, so that it trips up ai yeah uh, and all that kind of stuff then he says they pressed it and it butchered the phrase and they were so happy then the second time he pressed it third time he pressed it AI was getting it right. <laughs> it had cleaned it up. <laughs> oh, so he says by the fourth okay. time now they're battling to make AI sound bad because it's learning. It's pulling from all its resources oh, from wherever it was hmm. to get this stuff correctly. Hmm. So just, just that's like a little scare story. You no, know, no, no. I, I, I had warned these chaps. I told them this Terminator thing you're messing with here. And I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> you might need to get more. Yes, <laughs> yes. There was a prophetic film that was released <laughs> called <laughs> Terminator. <laughs> e robot. <laughs> e robot. <laughs> E robot. E robot. E robot. E robot. The Matrix. The Matrix. Matrix. The Matrix. <laughs> Matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, he, so here's my my my, yeah. my one thing, and you guys tell me whether because of late I've realized that what we do, and I've been saying this mm. uh, probably to the annoyance of of a number of people now, mm -hmm. is is that if you distill it, what we're doing is we're transferring a vibe. Yeah, mm. that's that's, that's right. what we do with right. with our things. So. That's right. Um, if, if somebody asks you about, you know, teach me about breath technique and whatnot, I'm sure the guys mm, who can coach, mm, mm. I'm more of the feeling that we should be understanding that we're transferring, um, if it's joy, if it's yeah. a joyful it's a sale, yeah. Yeah. shop yeah. right, like the ones you do, uh, yeah. you know, uh, we, we, we would choose, <laughs> we, yeah. it's a celebration that's being transferred from one form to another. Correct. Um, Correct. You know, joy, sadness, all that stuff. That's what we're really doing. Correct. Uh, and the paper with the words just happens to be where the visionary of these scripts, people like Destro, have, have placed the, the, exactly. you know, the context and the yeah. context. Exactly. And then we are meant to just bring those words from paper, bring them to, to you know, to life. Exactly. So, uh, the, you bring out something very important. A copy or script writer mm -hmm. hears their script in their heads. Yeah. And until the voiceover artist delivers it and it matches and is in sync with what they heard, they're not satisfied. Yeah. yeah. Which is why if you've got a client who's got their script writer sitting in with you to direct, mm -hmm. they'll tell you, um, no, not quite. Yes. And you're like, okay, but this, this is what I know. This is how, and yeah. it says, no, no, okay, yeah. I want the intonation up and down. Yes, yes. And you're like, okay, because yes. they heard it as they wrote it. Yeah. And that's the kind of stuff which currently it will take many, many lines of code to tell AI <coughs> how to oh, do yeah, that. Sure. Whereas in the studio, like, listen, listen, uh, here's, here's a guide. I want you to say this. And uh, okay, cool. Yeah. And you go off and says, that's the one. But now in your voice. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> and I think what will happen like going forward, when, if we touch on the AI story, is that there's some guys who are... I think musical who can who are able to probably um, kind of build grids into like a waveform yeah. um, to yeah. to in, to enable it to to get those little nuances. The nuances and, and but those those are the guys I think who will be those are the key. dangerous ones. Those are the dangerous yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Not even the voiceover mm. artist like like pro programmers. Those yeah. guys. Those we those. need to find those. <laughs> and those are the guys them. working at Skynet, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything is X. Yeah, bring them to me. <laughs> Yeah, this is this isn't intended to be a long conversation. So maybe let's just do one question from me, one question from Destro, okay, cool. and to call it a wrap. My question to you is: somebody is diving into the industry. We always get people who want to get Correct. our advice, Correct. Uh, because they see it as an opportunity to just talk and be paid. You mm. know, mm. um, what kind of advice now 
do you have for somebody like that, which I suppose would be different to if you were asked the same question some years ago because yeah. we're growing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where would you pitch your, your advice for, for guys who are coming into the industry now? Invest in the long game. It's not quick, fast, and in a hurry. The returns will only start to show up after you perfect your craft. Uh, you spoke at the beginning. Uh, we've known each other, what, 30 odd years? Mm. It's only now we're at a level where you say, oh, okay, cool. I, I'm earning a decent living off of this. Yeah. That's been an investment. It's There's been no breaks in between. It's constant improvement, mm. uh, constantly adapting and adjusting, um, learning the newest techniques mm. and never resting on our laurels. Mm. You, you can't rest in this game. It's constantly changing. New talent is showing up every day. Uh, you know the whole old adage, it's cliche. Uh, we learn from other people's mistakes. Mm. It, we are the other people. <laughs> 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 so the next generation don't have to make our mistakes and they can learn from the mistakes that we made and are able to shorten the process of them getting to a place where they're recognized. But that said, uh, they too will be the other people mm. to someone else. Mm. So constantly improve, constantly a a adapt, the best part is as we grow older, uh, there are certain voiceovers that just work because they want a certain sound yeah. in it and, and it works. So there's plenty to go around. Uh, don't go in there thinking, I'm going to take over the industry. Uh, no, you're not. Uh, the people have been in the game longer than you've been alive. So be patient. And most importantly, be humble. Just be humble. I mean, I, I'm still learning <laughs> and I have lots to learn. And what's funny is now I've ended up at that age where a lot of the people who are teaching me what I need to survive in the game are a lot younger than me. Mm. And so it's a humbling occasion to sit and be taught stuff by someone who was probably not born when you were starting the game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you've got to learn. Absolutely. And be grateful and go, don't go in there with attitude. Do you know who I am? I'm, I am voice man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sit down. Sit down. You're a student here. Just learn. Take many seats. Yes, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me your Kung Fu. <laughs> yeah. And I think uh, to the point of being humble, that's true. Because a lot of people, when they meet me, they don't know that I do voiceovers. Mm. You know, mm. They don't even know which voiceovers I've done exactly. until I say, oh, yeah, I actually did that one. Oh, mm -hmm. oh okay, I wouldn't have known. Yeah, yeah but I guess yeah. the, the question that I have to ask is, um, what, what do you believe the voiceover marketplace, especially in Zambia, needs in order for it to become a respectable industry? That's a good one. That's an excellent question. And without offending any client or anyone who's in the game, uh, value your brand enough to invest in the right voices. Mm. Uh, some of the voice actors that go off and do something, just yell into a mic. Uh, if you want that to be your brand idea, hey, good for you. It's cheaper. It's cheaper, yeah. Right? Cheap and cheerful, but you, you get what you pay for. Mm. And I think if we show each other respect, you know that you're, you're handing your script over to a person who respects your brand. Mm and will treat it with the respect that is due to it and deliver at that level, it's worth paying for. Mm -hmm. It's it's worthwhile because that, that with the digital frontier, stuff is there for perpetuity now. Uh, generations will come and go and they'll still hear this and say, eee, <laughs> they allowed this out there? <laughs> like, ah, we've evolved. <laughs> but just give the dues where they're due. Uh, pay what's needed for the artist to be able to say, yeah, I'm proud to do this work mm -hmm. and not be begrudging in their delivery because like, ah, no man, this is not fair, man. I, I, mm -hmm. I've got a family to feed. You can't be giving me this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, treat the voice actor as a partner yeah. and not just a vendor who's reading out the voiceover script. Wow. Yeah. As we wrap, I didn't want to put pressure on you. I wanted to say right at the beginning that if there's one person that I know who doesn't do um when he's talking, it's this guy. <laughs> oh, wow, really? Re rewind this episode and try and find any ums from Kamisa Chikula. You will be hard pressed to find one. <laughs> you're blessed, man. You're blessed. Yeah, you're one above us. You're far um, too kind. Um, um, that's a wrap. <laughs> one for the history books. Um. <laughs>